In this video I'm going to talk about three problems that you can get with the Lacey Big Disk Extreme and this probably applies to other Lacey drives and probably other external drives too. If your Lacey drive stops working you might think you've lost all your data but actually my drive has gone wrong twice and both times I've been able to get the data back. So by far the most common failure with these Lacey drives is the power supply. There's an underrated capacitor in the power supply. If you use it for long enough, then the power supply stops working. And this manifests itself as basically the drives permanently trying to spin up, but never actually managing it. So you do hear the drives doing something. You also see the blue light on the front of the Lacey drive flashing. Now your options at this point are basically to either buy a new power supply, which you can do on Amazon or eBay, or we can actually power these drives using your desktop computer by undoing the panel at the back of the drive here, which obviously does void the warranty. Now this one terabyte model contains two 500 gigabyte drives raided together. So you can't just plug these straight into a computer. Um, we're just literally gonna use the computer to power these drives. And yes, there is only one drive shown in this picture. So I've unplugged the power cables from both of these drives and then I'm going to use the power cables in my uh, computer case. I've unplugged the SATA cable here so that you can see the connector but obviously it should still be connected to the Lacey drive. Now we don't need the Lacey power supply attached to the Lacey drive anymore. I can just turn on my computer and these drives will spool up. I can then plug in the USB cable into the back of the Lacey drive and hopefully access the data on this drive using my computer. Now another common fault with these drives and the one I had most recently is that basically the firewire circuitry breaks and this basically shows itself as the drives doing absolutely nothing. You plug in the power supply, the power supply clicks and the green light on it flashes but the drives don't spool up at all. To get round this you're going to need to get your hands on another Lacey disc replacement drive obviously needs to have the same either SATA or IDE connectors and be careful because some models only have one drive. There are eight screws to undo on the bottom of the enclosure and then we can just undo the SATA and power cables and move them straight over into the new Lacey drive making sure that you put them in in exactly the same order so the, the drive that was closest to the firewire board will be the closest still in this new drive. Assuming that your new Lacey enclosure isn't broken you can then just use this Lacey drive as normal and take my advice back up all the data from these drives if you manage to get access to it because these big disks will go wrong again. Now if the power supply or firewire board tricks don't work then it's a little bit more serious. It could be that your drives are actually corrupted and in that case I'm afraid there's really no simple fix. You're going to have to send it to a repair company to see if they can extract any of the data from the drives. Alternatively, if you're not that fussed about the data that you've got on the drives, you can do what I'm doing with them now, which is I formatted these drives because they're just standard desktop computer hard disks. I've put them in my computer and added a terabyte of storage to my desktop PC. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helped you solve your lacy drive problems. Please leave any comments down below if you've got any questions about these procedures or your own suggestions on how to fix these lacy drives.